How's it going, everyone? It's your man, Leonidas, a.k.a. Mr. Homebrew. Now, I wanted to speak to you guys in regards to a little package I've put together for everybody. I figured it would make things a little easier in regards to getting homebrew, atmosphere, um, retroarch, laka, all that good stuff up and running fairly easily. Um, there are going to be three separate packages within the description. Any one of the three will do. Um, there's going to be the Mr. Homebrew SD files 1.0 zips. There's also going to be the Retro SD files 1.0 zip and the Retro Arc SD files 1.0 zip. Now, it's your choice on which one of those files or zip folders you want to download. Um, each one's going to have this custom layout that you can see on the right hand side here. Um, different theme for each one. And when it comes to launching Homebrew, I have it set for the title is Pokemon Quest. So if you click that A button, you're going to launch right into Homebrew. If you hold the ZR button, then you're going to be able to launch into the game itself. Now, for demonstration, I'm going to launch in. And as you're going to see real quickly, I'm into Homebrew. You're going to have Retroarch. All that good stuff. Make your life a little easier in regards to setup. Um, I wanted to let you guys know... That the overclocking is not included right now. That is still in development. Um, there are still some things being worked on, perfected, whatever you want to call it. It's always good to have quality when it comes to these kind of releases. Um, so please don't harass the developers or anything like that. I will keep you guys updated in regards to that. And trust me, you'll get your hands on it as soon as you can once it's ready to be released. Now, I have Retroarch running lately for my test. I've been running The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It's running fairly good. The frame rate's been pre pretty nice. Um, I do have it running in 720p internal resolution. I got widescreen going on running fairly good that frame rate will fix itself in a minute just have to give it a second there you go when you're in the menu it will change up so give it a second there and you'll get a real life frame rate there now I'm gonna close this up Exit out of homebrew. Now what you're going to want to do is turn off, power off your Nintendo Switch completely. As I'm doing now. Now once your Nintendo Switch is off, you're going to want to remove your micro SD card. I will recommend FAT32 as the format of your micro SD card. FAT32 is known to have less corruption in regards to homebrew compared to EXFAT. So again, FAT32 is the recommended format for your micro SD card. EXFAT is supported, but again, corruption. If you want to stay away from corrupted files, go with FAT32. So I'm going to plug my micro SD card into my computer. There's a problem with this drive. No, there's not. It's fine. As you can see, I've been using it. Now. Again, you have the Mr. Homebrew SD files 1.0.zip. You also have a retro SD files 1.0.zip. And you have a retroarch SD files 1.0.zip. Now, it's your choice again which one of those zip files you're going to want to 
download and apply to your Nintendo Switch. They all do have the custom layout going on. Each one has a different theme. Now, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Mr. Homebrew SD Files 1.0.zip. I'm going to open that up. Now, you got your micro SD card plugged into your computer. You're at the root of your micro SD card. You're not in any folders or anything. You're going to copy over everything from the zip file except for the payloads folder. The payload folder consists of the payloads that you're going to use to send to your Nintendo Switch, be it with Tigra, RCM Smash, Ricardo, whatever you want to use um, to send it. If you have a little dongle like myself, you can use that to send your payload once you've put it on there. So, copy and paste all those files and folders onto your micro SD card. I'm not going to do it now because obviously I already have everything situated on my micro SD card. The payloads folder again has all your payloads. You're going to use one of those .bin files to be sent to your Nintendo Switch when it is in RCM mode. Most of you should be aware of how to get your Nintendo Switch into RCM mode. Now, everything copied over to your micro SD card, the root of your micro SD card. You're going to close and eject your micro SD card completely properly from your computer. So I'm gonna go down here I'm going to eject it, save to remove my micro SD card. I'm going to remove it from my computer. I'm going to put it into my Nintendo Switch. There we go. Now, if you don't have auto RCM, you're going to need your little jig. I got my jig right here. Remove that right Joy-Con. Slide that jig in, make sure it's down there. I'm gonna hold volume up and the power button. One, two, three, let go. Should be in RCM mode. Your Nintendo Switch should remain black. Shouldn't boot up if you did it correctly. Now, I got my little dongle with my payloads already put on it. Should be able to insert that into my Nintendo Switch. If you see that right there, that means your Nintendo Switch was completely off. I have auto RCM, so sometimes it can force it to be completely off. I'm gonna hold the volume up and power button again. Remember I have auto RCM. You would normally use your jig at this point if you needed to. And I'm gonna send my payload again Everything should go good. Give it a moment. And there you go. Everything should be booting up properly there. No problems. Give it just a moment. Now, if you want to boot into Laka, you can hold the volume down button while you're sending the payload and you'll be able to select to boot into Laka that's included in a selection for boot up again load up into homebrew you're going to be greeted with this nice theme going on and for all your retro gaming needs here you are Nintendo Switch. So remember what I said. Obviously, the overclocking is not included. I will keep you guys updated in regards to that as soon as possible when it is released and ready for release. I will inform you guys of that. I hope you do enjoy. All the best. It's your man Leonidas, a.k.a. Mr. Homebrew. I'm out for now. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Take care. Peace.